today I wanted to talk about something that I actually kind of talked about in my previous video and that is the subject of Christmas and selling holidays as a revert. So if you've watched my previous videos, you already know that I reverted a little over a year ago, I was born and raised in the United States, and I used to be a Christian, which means I celebrated Christmas. Now, there are a lot of people who celebrate Christmas maybe that don't have religious reasons or things like that. But in Islam, celebrating holidays such as Christmas is haram or forbidden. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit because reverts kind of have a special place when it comes to celebrating holidays and how to go about that. So this video is not only for reverts, but also a little bit of a guide um, from the reverts perspective for born Muslims. Um, born Muslims tend to like to give advice to reverts and we, we love to get advice and learn more, at least I do. You know, just learn more about the religion and you know, you will have to learn what's right and what's wrong. But there is of course a way to go about that. Now I wanna start with um, how my first Christmas kind of went so I had been Muslim for a few months, probably close to like six months or so. So my family, I, I told them, you know, we, we technically, we don't celebrate Christmas, but I'll be there for you. That's one of the biggest things. Um, we talked about it in a new Muslim class at my local Islamic center at the time as well. Um, we were told, and this is kind of how I even live life now through the holidays. Um, this is the second Christmas and in a way, I'll, I'll still be doing the same thing, but I won't be really home for Christmas. So we were told, you know, you can spend time with your, your family. It's better to do it maybe, you know, a few days before, or a few days after, which worked out for me as well because my family always got together um, maybe a few days before Christmas. So we didn't necessarily celebrate on Christmas Day. So that did kind of help me out. Another thing was gifts. So while I would receive gifts, I might not necessarily give gifts as well, but as a revert, I um, could give gifts during Ramadan or Eid to my family and be like, hey, this is my holiday, so I'm gonna give you a gift. And it kind of works both ways. Because in Islam, we can't just abandon our families. You're still part of your family, even if they're not Muslim as well and hopefully they're understanding. You know, if they still want you to be there for Christmas, then be there. But just, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he knows what's in your heart. So if you're there and you're having Christmas dinner with them, he knows why you're there. He knows that you're not celebrating it. Now, as a disclaimer for any non-Muslims watching, I don't want people to think that we don't celebrate Christmas because we don't love Jesus, because we do. But that's just something that we don't participate in. We have a couple of holidays, which I will, you know, maybe make a video about later. Um, if anybody out there needs to learn more, wants to learn more about um, our holidays. So, well, let's see. I guess I have advice for the reverts and I have advice for the born Muslims, as I mentioned before. So I will start with the um, born Muslims. So please let reverts know that you know you're there for them during the holidays because there are going to be reverts who are not welcome home for the holidays there are going to be reverts who are and they don't know how to celebrate it so just kind of be there for them and give them advice without telling them oh it's haram you can't you know encourage them to be with their family and you know why we don't celebrate christmas and things like that for my reverts out there i really just wanted to let you guys know that you're not alone last year um around Christmas time, you know, there's decorations in malls and everywhere you go, there's Christmas music and really the Christmas decorations are so beautiful. And it's, it's very confusing sometimes when you see all these things and you can't really participate. So I just wanna let you know that you're not alone. Reach out to other reverts, reach out to just other Muslims in your community and let them know how you're feeling. I think that it's important to talk about it and be like, hey, I'm kind of struggling because I see all of these things. I want to be part of it. I don't know what to do. You know, it's very confusing. It can be. And so I got a little overwhelmed. I think this year it's going to be easier. Um, I'm also not at home. Um, I'm in Canada. So this is my new home. And so I actually did do something a little bit different this year. I really enjoy decorating, um, especially during fall. So, you know, like pumpkins and leaves and things like that. 
that just kind of go with the season. So this year I told my husband since um, we can't do like Christmas decorations and Christmas trees are like one of my favorite things like, in the entire world. I just think they're so beautiful and they're so much fun. But since we can't do that, and I didn't do it last year, of course, I said, you know what? It gets so dark and gloomy outside. This is such a depressing time of year for some people, you know, because it gets dark so early. It's cold. You can't go out and do as much, um, you know, like you can in the summer when it's warm. So we went to the store. I got some lights, some garland, and I put it on our handrails. I got a wreath that's just like green and white. I added some like blue and silver because for me like winter time is like blues and silvers. Like light blue like reminds me of snow for some reason, like snowmen. Um, and then, you know, we just made it very bright. We got a little sign that says let it snow. So I said these will be our winter decorations just to brighten things up. They don't have anything to do with Christmas. So I think that's something that's also going to help a little bit. You can still make your home beautiful, but it doesn't have to be geared toward a, ho toward a holiday. So that's just a little something that I wanted to share with you. And um, I will show you my decorations and let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know what advice that you have, um, especially for reverts around holidays that we normally don't celebrate. I hope that this video helps just a little bit. So thank you for watching. Okay, so I told you guys that I would show you my winter decorations. So I'm gonna take you outside. It's still daylight right now, so I'm gonna show you, and then I'll show you what they look like at night as well. So let's go. Okay, don't mind the squeaking of the door. <laughs> but here's the wreath that I got. I added these little decorations myself. Our blue and silver garland with our white lights. And here's a little let it snow sign and a random piece of trash that I will pick up. So yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all lit up. Okay, so I told you guys that I would show you what the lights look like at night and I went ahead and opened the front door so it doesn't squeak super loud again. But here's my wreath. And don't worry, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom to show you. I totally look spooky right now. Okay, let's go to the bottom. I'll flip the camera around. Here, but here's the sign. Very beautiful lights. Just to make it a little brighter and a little less gloomy. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.